Well, folks, we've made it to Sarawak. To be specific, Kuching. Finally, after a week in Saba, which was excellent, really, really nice trip. Um, stayed in Kita Konabalu the whole time and just decided to fly to Kuching. Um, found out like a very affordable flight and like a solid Airbnb here, which is at uh, Cozy Square. Uh, again, inside like a shopping mall or complex. So there's like restaurants downstairs and shops, I guess, and hopefully a supermarket or a grocery store would be cool. But I have the kitchen and uh, yeah, not such a big room like I had in, uh, in Kota Kinabalu, but it'll do the trick. I have a desk here. Hopefully I have better internet this time. It looks like this might actually be some decent internet. Um, because I've been working with some really bad speeds. <laughs> um, yeah, and I got sunlight. You know, the place is very bright. So happy about this place. It cost me 25 US dollars a night. Uh, in Kota Kinabalu, I was paying $30 per night. Uh, so yeah, a little bit cheaper. But it's around 4 p.m. now. I would like to go out and explore a little bit. Um, I literally just came in here. I just put my stuff down and um, that's it, you know? So first we'll go downstairs and we'll see what Cozy Square is actually like. We'll see, you know, what kind of food they have down there and uh, if there's shops, I believe. Uh, actually, don't really know. I just know it's like a, a comp shopping complex slash hotel slash condos. Um, and the location looks good. It looks like a, about a 30 minute walk to like the waterfront. Um, oh, nice. We got some love when they give us give me water. It's great. Um, yeah, uh, so it looks like a good area. I don't know anything about Kuching. I don't know anything about um, where to go or, or anything really. Um, so I will be doing some research on things to do. Um, I would say recommend me some places to go, but I think by the time you see this, I will actually probably have already left because now the vlogs are way behind. Um, like more than a week behind on the actual real time where I am, you know? So yeah, let's go see what's downstairs. And then I'm gonna just walk toward the waterfront and uh, we'll see what the neighborhood is like. So I'm excited, new place, um, feels good. So I forgot I still need to upload the vlog. Unfortunately, once again, we're working with some really, really slow speeds. And so the vlog is not gonna go up today. I, I already did this maybe 10 minutes ago now, and it's still at 0%. <sighs> I've been trying to get this vlog up and I just cannot. It's really difficult. And now it's 4.20 PM and it's just not gonna go up today. There's no way. I, don't, I hope I can get it up by tomorrow. I feel like I'm gonna have to go upload it somewhere. <sighs> I wonder if there's somewhere downstairs in this cozy, building that has some Wi-Fi that we can use, maybe a cafe or something, because this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> I guess it's just Borneo is not, uh, you know, the speeds are not quite the same as like KL. I guess it's because it's not the city, you know, but, or it's just the Airbnb hosts are, are cheaping out and getting like some real economy internet or they're limiting the upload speed or something weird. Um, I don't really know, but it's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, do we go downstairs with the laptop and try and upload this? It's still at 0%, so I'm not even confident that it will upload by tomorrow, which is crazy. Oh, folks, 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 so frustrating. Oh, you know what? Let's go out. Uh, I'm gonna walk towards the waterfront. We're gonna do a vlog outside today. And when I get back, I'm gonna try and sort out the vlog in the cafe, since we're gonna have to stay there. <sighs> and then it'll be up tomorrow. And that's just what it is. Of course, when you see this, you know, by the time you see this, again, it's not in real time, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Well, what can you do? So it looks like ground floor retail restaurants. And then LG food court, laundry and retail, then gym, swimming pool. Which you have to use a different lift, I guess, to go to the swimming pool. 
Wait, which, does that say no entry? Why no entry? Okay, wait. What? What is this? Okay, this is, hmm, <laughs> oh man. Well, that's not the ground floor, I guess. Oh, now I can't go back in? Okay, this scan to access. <laughs> well, I guess there's a learning curve to, uh, to this building here. So then how do I, how do I get there? And even when I press the button, It like partially opens, then it closes. Oh my God. All right, maybe this side. Because I believe this is like an emergency lift, but this is the one that arrived. Oh my God. I mean, I mean, am I doing something wrong here? Okay, now I think this one is actually gonna Arrive. Okay. All right. So let's try the uh, LG. I have a feeling it's going to be the same, and I'm not going to be able to get into the the actual place. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. LG. Okay. Uh, all right. I think actually. You might be good. <sighs> Definitely a car park. All right. Lift to Cozy Square. Is it here? Okay. So confusing. Why am I at B2? Why? Why? I don't know, folks. This has never happened to me before, to be fair. All right. Gee. Uh, this one is correct. I guess this lift only access to lower ground basement one, two, and three. What? Stop the spread of COVID-19. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow, okay, I think we actually potentially made it. I have no idea. Oh, huh, interesting. So there's like rock climbing here. It's kind of like a kid's play area. There's a slide and stuff. All right, maybe this way to the lobby. So confusing. Uh, shops, but not open. I'm not actually sure what they have in this place. I have no idea. It looks like nothing is open. Shop for rent. Huh. Let's see, is this working? <laughs> oh crap, is this the wrong side? <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> Already with the elevators, I was struggling as well, big time. Do certain elevators, they don't go to the same floors, right? Is that the thing? To be honest with you, I'm, I'm not even raging. I'm also too sorry. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Take care, man. <laughs> All right. Um, well, there's a clinic. It's always good in case uh, something goes wrong. <laughs> Get the clinic right in the building. I mean, this is good to have. This is very good to have in the building to get water at the very least. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be like, you know, like a meat market or something. I don't think I'm going to be able to get like chicken or beef. But I can get all the like toiletries and stuff, which is a big plus. All right, so that's good. We'll see how much if I can actually get there next time, if I can find it. I do believe there's just, there's three or four elevators and you have to use certain ones. All right, 
So there is like a little food court down here. Uh, beverages, Asian cuisine. All right, so it's not really extensive, I would say. But it's something, it's something. And for some reason, the laundry is closed. Okay, well, Nasi Kandar. This is what I really need, actually. I haven't been able to do laundry. What's the deal? 24 hours. Wow. Every machine is out of service, I guess. Oh, that's actually one of the reasons I booked the place is because there's a laundry in the building. <sighs> Sorry, folks, I, I, I know I'm uh, distressed, but as you can see, things are not exactly going to plan. But let's get out of this building and let's go, um, yeah, let's explore the city a little bit. I think it'll feel good to get outside, get some air. <laughs> and forget about my condo problems. Okay. Nice. Cool. Let's see, I don't know if we're gonna have a sidewalk here to walk on or not. This is the actual building. Cozy square. Okay, let's see. Um, not sure which way to walk. I don't know about you guys, but every time I'm trying to see which direction to go, it's kind of hard to tell what direction you're actually walking in on the maps. Then you kind of have to try and figure it out, start walking one direction and see which way it starts taking you on the maps to know if you're actually going the right way. Okay, this is, this is correct. I don't know if it's just my GPS on my phone or, or if that's everybody, but that's how it works for me. Nice, okay, the weather is really nice. Really nice, which is refreshing because out of seven days in Kota Kinabalu, um, it rained heavy five days. Uh, I'm sure the weather is relatively similar here. Um, the, the weather forecast for like the next couple of days does say like 70% rain chance throughout the day. Uh, but that just doesn't mean anything really. It's, it's definitely not, not correct, not accurate. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, first impressions here, nice city, walking, I mean, uh, driving from the airport actually, definitely quite a bit different than Saba, uh, hard to explain it, I mean, it just looks like, a, it looked a bit rural, um, and then over here actually it looks a bit more, you know, city-like, looks quite city-like, uh, I don't know how walkable it is, <laughs> I'd say Kota Kinabalu was relatively walkable you know the infrastructure is not perfect there but it's also it was okay it was okay i was able to get around wherever i needed to go by walking uh, pretty much anywhere and if it was really far then i could easily take a grab uh, people have told me that the infrastructure in sarawak is significantly worse than in saba people said that's actually the biggest drawback of sarawak in general is like the infrastructure and getting around um but apparently it's better in kuching than some places um like miri you know i was considering going there um cebu um i think especially cebu people said is like not great and they said they don't recommend me go but decided to come straight to kuching um first and then we'll see if we if we go anywhere else in uh in Borneo before going back to KL. Either way, I will be coming back to Borneo not too long in the future. Uh, I do want to explore more in the nature side of things, um, which this time is, is not going to be too nature-esque. You know, I didn't get to go to Kundasang. Uh, I didn't get to go to um, like Semporna, the islands. Uh, yeah, the weather was just not good. And um, I was a little afraid to book an Airbnb uh, on any island and then not be able to get there by ferry. I also had a plan to go to Labuan. I was gonna take a bus, go to Labuan, then I was gonna go to Brunei after that. Um, but yeah, I was just concerned about the weather and uh, potentially not being able to yeah, board a ferry after, after booking an accommodation and then like losing money, so. 
Yeah, here we are, Kuching. Kuching it is, folks. We're gonna start with a couple of nights. We're gonna start with four nights. Um, I mean, the plan really is that I will stay four nights and then I'm gonna uh, head out to KL. That, that's the plan as of now. Uh, if it changes, you know, I will extend my trip. Like I did extend my trip in Kota Kinabalu by an extra couple days because the, the weather. So if I can't get out and, and film what I want to film, then, you know, we'll extend it a little bit. But yeah, so this way is the waterfront. So it's 32 minute walk. Um, at least so far, I'm not walking in the street. At least I, I have like a, you know, a little bit of a shoulder here. Kind of a sidewalk almost. Um, looks like on the other side, actually, there's even more of a sidewalk. There's a cemetery over there, too. Meditel. Looks like a lot of, like, buildings. Like, office buildings, for the most part. Uh, at least in this area, you know. So we'll see. Like I said, I don't know Kuching. I didn't even know where to stay. Um... You know, already slightly regretful of, of booking the condo that I booked. <laughs> Just because, like I said, I, I booked it for the sake of having fast internet and um, also having a washer and dryer. Um, neither of which are working very well. And then it also said that uh, there was groceries in the building. Uh, but I believe that they meant more like, thank you, I believe they meant more like that little shop that we just saw. So I'm zero for three so far. <laughs> Hopefully I will be able to find a supermarket nearby that I can buy some um, food. Yeah. It's one thing I liked in Kota Kinabalu. I, I finally found a place that I was able to get really good imported grass-fed steaks, grass-fed beef. And uh, the price was really, really reasonable. Um, we'll see. We'll see, right? We just arrived. We just arrived. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad the weather's good, more than anything. You can see some mountains in the distance, but very much in the distance. Very much in the distance. I do think I can see some orangutans here. Somebody did recommend me a place to go see orangutans. And um, yeah, my grab driver told me that actually I should have went to see them in Saba. You know, she told me they are native to Saba and that there was places I could go see them in Saba. Um, but I don't know that it would have been very close to Kota Kinabalu. I think I would have had to venture far out. And um, so yeah, I don't know. But, but I have a one tip, one place written in my notes where I can apparently go see the orangutan. So that would be awesome. That's one of the reasons I always wanted to come to Borneo, you know? It's, I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people come to Borneo, is to see orangutans in the wild. Um, so, that would be nice. Otherwise, um, I have a few things written down in my notes, just like browsing uh, on Reddit. You know, I think there's like a museum or two. You know, I wrote down to go to the waterfront. Um, Otherwise, I'm not sure. You know, maybe I'll put out a community post and I'll ask for some recommendations for, um, for Kuching um, or even like surrounding areas so, uh, so I can get some feedback. So I can get some feedback before I leave. <laughs> All right, now the sidewalk has ended. The infrastructure is showing itself. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep walking just for a little bit. Maybe hopefully we'll get to some more interesting um, views and footage. For now, I'm just gonna walk and uh, I'll catch up with you in a moment. Pretty cool statue there. Don't know exactly what that is. Also a pretty cool building. Not really sure what it is. Everything's pretty old school here. It feels like I went back in time a little bit. You know, a lot of people said that Kuching is getting very overdeveloped, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, I felt like that in Kota Kinabalu a little bit. So maybe there are areas here that are overdeveloped, more developed, maybe by the waterfront, you know, we will see. But as of now, it looks kind of old school. 
Um, so it seems like there's a park that way, so I'm gonna check it out. Hey, bro, what's up? Yeah, How you doing? Uh, what's up, YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. YouTube. yeah. Hey, bro, hey, bro. Hey. 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 Uh, from USA. Oh, yeah. oh, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. First day, first day. Oh, I was in uh, Kota Kinabalu for one week and then just arrived. You're from here. You're all local. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh, cool. What what is this? Is it your like is a team or school or something? Uh, school. School. Uh, school. Ah, okay. What's up, bro? I know your YouTube channel. Uh, ben Fisherman. Ben, ben Fisherman. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> subscribe, yeah, subscribe. 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 How many new subscribers? Five yeah. new subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good. Yeah. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Nice folks. You know, in the end, the people will always <laughs> cheer, cheer up the mood, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm going to cross this and, um, hmm. So yeah, what I was saying is there's a park on the other side. If I make a right and, and go down a little bit, you know, I'm just going to take a chance because I have a, a walking path and try and cross up there. And, uh, yeah, it looks like a huge park actually. So that would be cool. But yeah, that put me in a better mood. <laughs> they were really extra, extra nice. That's cool. I mean, that is really what I hear about Sarawak. You know, the like, you know, the best thing about it is like that the people are, you know, very special um, or just very friendly, right? And that was my experience in Saba. Um, and like I mentioned in my previous videos, um, you know, I'm actually interacting with locals. I was meeting locals every day you know, making friends and acquaintances and talking to every single grab driver with like a full conversation. Uh, and this just doesn't happen in Kuala Lumpur. It's just not, you know, maybe I would need to make extra effort. You know, if I really, really put in a lot of effort, then like, then I can get it out of people a bit. But again, KL, a lot of migrants, not that many locals. Uh, maybe if I stay in Pedaling Jaya, uh, I will get more of a local experience. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm coming to to understand. Um, but it's been refreshing. It's been a, a whole different whole different feeling. Um, even just like walking by a group of people, yeah, in KL, like they're never going to just like <laughs> do what just happened back there, right? So uh, that's cool. See, this building is very nice. Not sure what that is. I did get some tips about like some churches that I could visit. Uh, so I will probably do that. I haven't visited any churches in Malaysia yet. What's up guys? Yeah, see everyone very smiley, you know, very, very cool with the camera. Um, I, now I bet they see a lot less like tourists here, a lot less white people, less YouTubers in general. Um, then like Kota Kinabalu, uh, I, I don't mean to keep comparing the two. I'm only comparing it because I literally was just there for one week. Um, and it was like a very different experience for me. So, oh wow. See, this area is really cool. Okay. So maybe we'll try and cross the street here because I mean, look at these buildings and over here, it looks like we have some, like, I don't know. You can't really see it, but cool i'm gonna cross and uh we'll get over there right now it is actually 5 15 so maybe we'll get towards sunset time and maybe there's a sunset on the waterfront i don't know we'll see see what i mean this area is very uh a lot more picturesque i have like a little chinese gazebo here not even sure what you would call it this area is definitely some kind of you know, almost historic something. You can just tell. Yeah, let's let's go up here a bit and see. Looks like they would typically, I don't know, sell something here. Sell some some kind of goods. Maybe in the daytime, or maybe it's you know, maybe it's no longer open. We have here like a little memorial almost. That's what it looks like. Some Chinese memorial. Hmm. Interesting. Got the peace sign here. The dragons. Huh. 
That's cool. I like that. We're gonna have some Chinese writing here on the benches. Interesting. Let me know in the comments what this area is. That'd be cool. So I have no idea. I mean, maybe we'll see a sign in English that says the name. I don't know. Maybe this was the park that I was seeing on my uh, on my maps, right? Oh, what's this? I yeah, see. This is cool. Everything is very well taken care of over here. Very manicured. Huh. Nice. Look at this. See, this is nice. This is very nice. You know, this is what I this is what I look for. Some interesting things. You know, kind of a nature feeling, um, just mixed with some cool architecture. I like this. This is not just big buildings, <laughs> not just big office buildings, right? Over there, some people doing work. What is this? Sorry, folks, I'm so, um, you know, I don't know, I want to say ignorant. I'm not ignorant. It's just like, I don't know what this area, what this place is. You know, I, I, I don't know. Um, but this channel is not meant to teach too much. It's not meant to educate at all. It's literally not supposed to be that. So it will never be that. You know, I do baseline research. I figure out where to go, um, some interesting places to go some places that I think would make good content and then I go. Um, and if I don't, then I just pop out and walk around and see what I find, you know? Um, now I do, I do want to know what it is because now I'm realizing like, okay, this is obviously like something. This is obviously like, to me, it looks like a place you would see a bunch of tourists, but there's literally nobody here. I'm literally the only one here. It says, Diabaticon Kepada. Diabaticon Kepada. Don't know what that is. Obviously, I don't speak Bahasa either. Okay, so that's Dan Samua. Dan? That's an American name. Nigeri Sarawak. Okay. Kasinya Nigara. Rest in peace, wow, no one there. Jesus Christ. Who put that there? <laughs> okay, in memory of the members of the Sarawak Constabulary and the Malaysian, British, and Commonwealth Armed Forces and civilians who lost their lives in a defense of right and liberty. Okay. Hmm, maybe they, it's a war memorial, right? That's, that's my understanding then. Which war? I don't really know which wars um, Malaysia fought in, to be quite honest with you. I, I don't really know historically at all which wars Malaysia fought in. Let's say 1948 to 1966. But is this the park that I saw? You know, I'm, I'm gonna look on the map because I don't feel like this is, I feel like I, actually need to walk down a bit to, um, no, it, this is not. So it's, it's actually right, right across the way. Um, maybe we can get there by taking this little path here. I believe it's like, it's over there. Now, a big green space on the map, it doesn't always mean it's a park that you can like go in, but I think in this case it is. I actually do see some stairs over there too, so I believe I can get in that way. Looks like a gravestone up here, another little memorial spot. Interesting. I'm so glad the iPhone stabilizes well because I'd be shaking the camera around like crazy, but you can barely tell, I bet. Okay. Huh. Uh, I never know if I'm supposed to walk in the grass, if I'm supposed to avoid walking in the grass, but 
it looks like it's so stepped on and, and it's not manicured this grass, it's like dirt. Um, so I think it's okay, but this is a little tricky, a little steep. Okay, so maybe, I'm not exactly sure how to get in, to be quite honest with you. Like I said, I don't even know <laughs> exactly what it is or if I'm supposed to go in. Uh, all right, so I climb up here on this hill, or I go around and assume there's an entrance. But you see there's, there's actually stairs. They start there. All right, folks, we're gonna try. There's stairs, so I'm not crazy. There we go. There we go. Wow, what a ridiculous entrance to get in. <laughs> Maybe what they said about the infrastructure is correct. <laughs> or this is just the wrong way. I mean, look at this. What the... Can't really see it so well, maybe, but it... It's a little bit dangerous, I would say. It's covered in leaves and uh, it's extremely steep. Yeah, definitely have to watch your step here. Um, I did just see somebody else walking, so that's good. All right, I just actually asked somebody as they walked by, I said, is this a park? And uh, they asked, well, what do you mean by park? I said, oh, I don't know, actually, just like a public space, I guess you know, to to walk and, and whatever. And they said, yeah, it's, you know, it's for jogging or, or walking. So, yeah, don't know if it's, if you could consider it a park or not. I really don't, but I actually see a lake up here and there's a lot of people walking around it. So now we are in, um, you know, we are with the rest of the people. <laughs> I think I just came in like a very strange way. Here's like another, I don't know, like a gazebo. I mean, we call them gazebos. I feel like that's a very English word, a very American word. So I, I don't really know. A lot of structures and stuff over here though. It is cool, very picturesque. Nice. Oh, wow, this is nice. Hey, what's up? <laughs> right. Ah, okay, come on. Taman per Paduan. Okay, so it is a park. Got toilets here. Nice, this is nice. Very nice. Hey. Yeah, busier than I than I, you would think, considering everything else was very, very empty. Um, but over here, I mean, you know, people catching the the prime time, the prime hours of like good weather. Um, you know, when it cools down, this is when people come out. Look at this. Cool. See, it's nice to just stumble into something that you don't really know what it is, but it's quite nice. Now, everybody's walking the other direction, so I'm going to turn around and walk the other direction, but... <laughs> um, wow, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of trails and stuff. Okay, let's, let's keep with the traffic flow. <laughs> Got a nice red bridge there. This is beautiful. It's not just your average park either. It's not just like a big circle. It's actually you know, a lot of hills and some security on a motorbike here. This is different. Oh, very cool, okay. Kind of wish I uh, would have stayed a bit closer to, to this. I wouldn't mind just staying in a, an Airbnb or a hotel nearby here and just walk, have somewhere to walk every day, you know? But uh, now I know. Uh, it's okay. I'm not too far, not too far away, uh, but definitely further than like you would want to be to come and just like walk. Uh, wow. Lovely. Flowers here. That's funny, security just driving around. 
you know, it's it feels like so safe, but I guess they just want to make people feel safe. And uh, yeah, of course they're also checking for, for problems, but I think it gives people a peace of mind just having the security. I think that's the biggest thing, you know. I've even seen in like comments and reviews, um, like when I was just in Kota Kinabalu, there's reviews saying like, oh yeah, it feels very safe to wake, walk in this lake because there is, um, you know, like a police post nearby. Um, as much as I don't think you would need it, uh, it seems like people just like to have it, you know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm sure things, things happen as well. Um, but to me, these places feel extremely safe, incredibly safe. <sighs> yeah, this is very nice. This is, this is awesome. You can have like a red little dragon temple box up there. <laughs> Somebody waving at us. All right, this is good. This is very good. You know, my my first impression was, was down here and it quickly went very, very high. Now it's very good. Everyone has been really great. Uh, and this area is awesome. And we haven't even gotten to the waterfront as well. Nice, nice. Can you see that I look happier now? <laughs> you know, this is good. So where does this go to? It's quite large. Oh my lord. Yeah, I knew on the map it looked enormous. I was like, that can't be a park. Okay, so you have water here too. A lot of stairs. That's good. People staying uh, active. This is the most amount of people I've seen like jogging, walking, exercising anywhere in Malaysia. Like by far. So, huh, that's cool. Good to see. <laughs> nice, we'll do a whole lap around. Once we get to the other side, we'll continue toward the waterfront. Uh, yeah, no crocodiles here, I assume. Uh, Sometimes you'll see the signs that say, you know, don't get close to the water because of crocodiles, but I don't see anything like that. So some crazy stairs here, <laughs> which go up to the car park. <laughs> well, you yeah, see, they really, it's interesting. It's not, it's not like a cookie cutter um, setup, you know, it's very unique, I should say. See what I mean? They even have 24 hour CCTV here. Wow. Honestly, New York City needs that. That's what they should have. Considering like you should never be walking in a park alone, like at night or something in New York. Um, but there's no CCTV. There's no monitoring whatsoever happening, uh, which is a huge problem, obviously huge part of the growing crime issue in New York at the moment. Uh, it's like people can just kind of do what they want. And they seem to get away with it. Um, but yeah, here at least, you know, they have signage and I'm sure they are actually like actually monitoring it, which is nice. Oh, wow, this looks cool. It really makes it feel like you are in nature. I was afraid this was just going to be too city-like for me. I thought it was going to be you know, no real tranquility and nature, but already getting a real sense of, of greenery here. A lot of kids play stuff too. Actually, not really any uh, families over here with kids. Like literally none, just adults doing exercise. I like it, I like it. It's motivating when there's other people around exercising. You know, have to, I'd say 90% of the time, I'm the only one. <laughs> What's this? I don't know if these have like a complete purpose. You know, maybe hide out from the rain when it rains or just get some shade when it's really sunny. I noticed quite a few of these already. Yeah, look at this. This is very much the woods. <laughs> Let's see what's this way i have a feeling this is going to lead out to like the street on the other side but it might actually lead to more trails i don't know so we have some orange trees here orange on the bark 
don't even know what that is. Is that, fun is that? That's not fungus. I'd imagine that's... I'm not sure if that's part of the uh, species of the tree. You know, if that's some type of... You know, something growing on it. Is it just dirt? That's dirt. <laughs> but the orange looks much different than the dirt, actually. I've not seen that before. I actually grew up, like, outside of the city. You know, I grew up in Philadelphia, but outside of Philadelphia. And so I had quite a lot of woods um, near me that I would always play in, you know, um, and parks and, and stuff. So I had a lot of nature, a lot of nature in Pennsylvania, um, the state of Pennsylvania in America. Uh, and so I know my way around the woods, but never saw that before. Yeah, so this goes to the um, the street. So let's we'll head out to the street. I'm going to... Again, I'm making my way to the waterfront um, before, like, I mean, we're actually on perfect time. It's, I mean, 5.35, so we have plenty of time, probably another hour until the actual sunset. See some, like, I say old school homes here, but, like, also quite nice. Uh, not like, not like village style homes. More so, um... Yeah, I don't know. You know, it doesn't look new, but it also doesn't look like, you know, it's not built on stilts. It's not extremely old. Um, I don't know what the um, the wealth is like over here, the, the costs and stuff of actual life. It's definitely cheaper than Kuala Lumpur um, in general, but I, yeah, I don't know the specific neighborhoods. I mean, you can usually just tell by seeing the houses, you know, seeing, yeah, how developed is it, right? These are actually quite nice. Looks like a nice neighborhood to me. Um, yeah, I like it. Not extremely walkable, once again, but we do have a sidewalk here. There's definitely a uniqueness to this place. There's definitely a lot of nature around, more than anticipated, which is cool. Big difference in every home and every street, very different. You see, these are quite, quite old as well. Not bad. Yeah, so if I keep going straight, actually take us straight to the waterfront. Um, we were actually, pretty close we we sort of backtracked a little bit to go through that park but well worth it definitely i would love to stay in the area and and have this as a like local park you know that's a, it's a big thing for me having somewhere to walk that feels really good um like mentally feels good and is almost like meditative that's what something like that is for me you know just put some music in my in my ears and yeah have some uh, green visuals Sure, SJK Chung Hua number one, Kuching. Hmm. I know there's uh, museums over toward here too, like the Sarawak Museum and a few more as well, uh, kind of close to the waterfront. Some street art here, a little bit of shops, restaurants. Haven't really seen very many um, shops or restaurants at all. Till now, it really st stood out to me. It's like uh, there's a Thai restaurant over there, Erwan Thai Cafe, Mini Mart Insurance Place, which is closed. And yeah, not a ton. Maybe there is more um, like shopping and um, and stuff in like a specific area. I'd imagine. You know, there's probably a mall or two here. Uh, actually, oh, it looks like this is the first. The first sign of development that I see, the first, like, condo, the first uh, new school condo in the distance. That has to be a sign. That's our first sign that we are getting to, like, a, a more developed area to me. Mm. Maybe the waterfront is, like, the most developed area. And it looks like over, you know, when you cross the water on the other side... Looks like there are more like villages and stuff over there. Um, the Borneo Hotel right here. There's definitely hotels over here. Uh, 
and it probably would be ideal to stay over here <laughs> without a car especially spot the first 7-eleven in the distance i think it's the longest i've went in malaysia without seeing a 7-eleven <laughs> very cool building in the distance there too that would be cool to get to oh we have a we have a cat Yeah. Feels relatively clean too. He's not wounded, he's not cut up. I didn't even see this guy here. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a guy there. Maybe it's his cat. Some food here. Mm. I don't see too many food places just yet. Another cat. It does have a collar on, so I don't. You know, collar typically means somebody's cat. A little bar? Wow. Interesting. Huh, the Riemann Bistro, the Ramen Bistro? Oh no, a lot of stuff is closed. I will say, more things closed than not closed here. Huh, because you can book orangutan tours here. And maybe it's just too late. Maybe, you know, stuff closes a bit early. That's that's what I'm thinking. But... Alright, we're getting very close now to the water. We've pretty much made it. Lodging house here. Wow. Little temple. A lot of traffic as well. Uh, it's, it's like prime traffic hour, so I would expect that pretty much anywhere in Malaysia. You know, 6 p.m. It's going to be traffic. Unavoidable. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful temple. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Hey, just a quick hop and a skip away from the water now. All right, so, oh wow, the first coffee shop I've seen. <laughs> first cafe. Crazy. Looks pretty nice too, looks quite modern. This, some statues, this is, Oh, interesting. I'd like to go in, but no way to second. Just not enough space. Excuse me. Thank you. Hello. Can I film? I would prefer not to. No, yeah, okay. A few photos is okay. Okay, okay, no problem. All right. I feel like it's free promotion. So it's kind of strange, but... Hey! It's all right. Maybe he's afraid I'll break something. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of, because it's, you know, otherwise it's... Yeah, it's free promo. I mean, some people don't really think about that in their mind, though, about... You know, hey, maybe I have a million subscribers. Imagine I have a million subscribers. Well, if a vlogger who, I don't, I know, obviously I don't. But if, you know, a vlogger comes into your business, you know, at least for me, I would see it as like, oh, awesome. Like, I don't know, let's be extra. I'm not, not expecting special treatment. I'm not saying that. That's, I have no expectations. It's just that what I would do with present day, knowing the, how things work, how the internet works and vlogging and, you know, the people, consistently will go to a restaurant or a place um, and vlog about it and then the place you know blows up gets many more followers or becomes more popular on TikTok especially um, so yeah I, I would try and take advantage of that if I was a business owner that's all I'm saying uh, 
as the vlogger, what you know, I don't care. There's you know, plenty of things to to vlog about. But we made it. <laughs> we made it. This is beautiful. Wow. Okay, this is not your ordinary waterfront, and there's actually tons of shops, homestays right there. Wow. This is nice, folks. This is really nice. Wow. It's a very cool bridge over there, too. You see people walking. Hmm. Wow, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to actually head toward that bridge. I wonder where is, like, the best spot to see the sunset. Um, you know, it, it's very cloudy. Uh, so I don't think, again, we're going to get, like, a proper sunset, but... You know, it would still be nice to, to wash from somewhere. I do need to get some water. That's the first thing on the list. I can barely even speak to you guys right now. I'm gonna get water, then come back over here. We're doing a little boat tour. A little river cruise. Not too expensive either. 19 ringgit for adults, nine ringgit for children, ring it, ring it. Uh, I say ring it, and somebody just pointed out in the comments to me that that's that's incorrect. It's like two syllables, ring it, ring it, right? Something like that. Not ring it, ring it. So I need to think about that. Try and rewire the brain because now I'm so used to saying it how I always say it. Well, this is obviously the area to stay in as a tourist. I mean, come on. This this would be even better to walk every day. By the water? Yeah, and all the shops are here. Um, yeah, wishing I stayed over here already, but that's all right. I guess I'll be relying a little bit on grab <laughs> for these next four days. Wow, it's beautiful. There's also like some really cool stairs. I don't know what they are. Oh, I'm gonna head that way. Amphitheater, because they have uh, some shows sometimes, maybe some like live music, probably on the weekends. Today is Monday, so the weekend is finished. Uh, but it's still a good amount of people around, I would say. So another river cruise here. This one is 17 ringgit. Children, eight ringgit. A little bit cheaper, a little discount. Probably the same quality of cruise. Not too sure. You probably want to look up both on Google and see the reviews. I don't know. Buskers. here yeah, that bridge is something special I'll say wow. In that building Diwan Undangan Nigeri see what I mean beware of crocodiles so I guess you shouldn't get too too close to the water I mean, you do have stairs going all the way down. Maybe that's as close as you should really get. I don't know. But look at this bridge. Oh my God. Okay, so I guess the sun sets there. Wow, look at this. This is wild. <laughs> they even have little like crocodile statues here. Actually, I'd like to see a crocodile. I don't think I've ever seen a crocodile in my life. That'd be cool. I don't want to be too close to it, but I'd like to see it like down there. You know, that would be cool from here. It says Astana over there. And that's what I was talking about. The Kampung, the village directly across. Pretty cool. Quite busy over here. A lot of people over here. 
I'd say it's quite mixed, tourists and locals. Malaysians and non-Malaysians here. Oh, nice. See, this is where you can get some really nice views. Probably some of the best views in the city, I'd imagine. Wow. Yeah, this is a nice area. <laughs> this is great. Wow. There's the Hilton Hotel in the distance. Prime location on the water. Imagine the view from your room right there. Wonderful. God, this is such, such a picturesque area. This is just like doing my job for me over here. Just gotta point the camera. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I'm not, I don't say I'm speechless, but it's, you know, I've, I've kind of quieted down a little bit. Oh. Look at the mountains in the distance too. Oh my God. That is beautiful. <laughs> that is really beautiful. Oh, I can actually make the title of this video something like oh, Kuching Sarawak surprised me or something. And it's not just a clickbait title. It's like, I'm genuinely surprised. Uh, that's, that happens. I, I don't know. I get some ideas about a place or I just don't know exactly what to expect. I just look online. And then you get there in person and it's like, it, it's a whole lot more special when you're actually there. And that's exactly how it feels right now. <laughs> this is spectacular. Come on, I wonder if I can go up here. Little watchtower. And yeah, this building is really cool. Huh, is this a restaurant? see tables in there and a sink actually too yeah, maybe they serve food there I'm not sure now I'm starting to think about food because I haven't actually eaten anything today and it's it's six o'clock <laughs> um, but I have to go grocery shopping I have to cook so I'm a little ways away from actually eating something Nice, the village over there, I mean, they have a good spot, prime location, and they're probably, you know, affordable by comparison. I mean, I'd imagine that everybody owns the properties and they're not like selling them. So it's not like there's a market there. I, I don't think, right? It's uh, Probably it's pretty rare that those places go for sale. I'd imagine it just stays in the family. Um, generation after generation, right? That's, that's what you'd imagine. But yeah, this is, uh, they sell drinks here and they serve some food here. Nice. Uh, these buildings also look very cool over here. Let's go take a look at those. This is a great area to walk. Also better than the park because you have the breeze from the water. Now it feels really good. <laughs> this is prime over here. Pangalan Sop. Pangalan Sop. That's what it says. Uh, okay, gotta walk this way. Looks like the stairs are here. Actually, I don't really think that... I mean, you can walk up these stairs, but it looks like it's gated off up there. I don't think you can go inside this place. Maybe it's some kind of government uh, building? Yeah, it's, it's blocked. Hmm. Not sure. Off limits, peasant. Uh, wow. Yeah, not sure exactly where to go now. Um, I don't think this way. This way looks more like for cars. So, yeah, let's go back. It, it actually looked like there was more pathways to walk um, on the other side. Um, I, I just assumed that I could get up there or something, but... No, no. Let's go back this way. 
have this huge tower here. Very tall. Have another staircase, quite a cool staircase. Let's go see what that's about. Peaceful here. I'll say that. Should I take the river cruise? I always wonder, is it worth it? I, I mean, it's, it's just right there. I think it would feel nice. One, I think it's another one of those things. It's like, I just have to actually do it. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm glad I did this. That was a good experience. Um, yeah. Cool design here. Nice bird. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, wow, that thing looks pristine. Look at this. Either highly preserved or renovated. Almost looks like a colonial fort, something like that. But it's so pristine for like how old it obviously is. But it almost feels like they have to like renovated or they just don't like let anything happen to it maybe they just don't let people go yeah i don't know but really nice nice views from here too doesn't end they really set this place up for uh I mean, not just tourists, but locals too, but like hanging out, you know, enjoying the sunset. Look at this. So clean over here too. That's one thing that sticks out about this, this part is very clean. Walking back to the other side. I believe this is Merdeka Plaza, Merdeka Square. Um, yeah, I believe that's what it's called. It's, that's why I see some of the spots on the map, like um, looking at the grocery stores, it says Everrise Grocery Store, Merdeka Plaza, something like that. So it makes sense, you know. I, I know in KL, like Merdeka Square slash Plaza, it has that feeling, you know, it's a very like beautiful spot. A lot of tourists go. Um, and so surely that's what this is. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm going to go check the grocery store. It's only 0.3 miles. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go see. I don't think they have beef, but I can get some chicken. I can go cook and uh, I'll be a happy boy. But sunset is, is done. You know, we're going on now uh, like 6.30 p.m., 6.40 p.m. You know, it's a little bit covered behind the mountains. Amazing. Well, that was awesome. Very good first, there's an echo in there. Very good first exploration day. That was cool. Whew, finally made it to Sarawak. <laughs> now, for the next days, the next vlogs, I'm gonna be looking up some things to do, some uh, places to visit. I have like one place planned but then I want to see orangutan, so I'm going to see what's the best option. You know, do I need to book a tour package? Um, yeah, what's the most affordable option, right? That's what I'm going to choose. Um, maybe I'll just, yeah, check out some vlogs and do some searching on Reddit. Maybe I'll post a community post. Again, by the time you see this, you know, I will be um, already gone. So, yeah, if I need some help, I will find a way to, to reach out, probably through community post on YouTube. Um, but if not, it means I figured it out. I have some good videos planned, so stay tuned for the rest of the Sarawak videos. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Borneo travel so far. Um, drop a thumbs up, please. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment. It helps a lot, and uh, I like to engage with you guys, so um, yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'd say I was wrong. I believe this is Merdeka Plaza. Looks a lot more like the Merdeka in KL. And it's right next to the mall I just went in and <laughs> bought some food. Yeah, they did not have any beef, so now I'm gonna walk 18 minutes to a place that is a butcher. 
butcher and western restaurant and uh, I think they have some fresh beef so let's see Okay, I know I said I was ending the vlog, but I have to give you an update because it's a couple hours later now. And uh, yeah, some things have, have changed. So my mindset has changed for the better. So this condo is better than I thought. Um, rooftop, very nice, amazing view. Infinity pool, very nice. The gym, it's open till 10 p.m., which is very good. The last condo in KK, it was only open until 4 p.m. The pool as well, 4 p.m., which is crazy. And so that's awesome. And we also managed to get a final butcher. I literally bought three kilos of strip loin here for 273 ringgit. So 92 ringgit per kg, which is very good actually. And I already cooked it and it's fantastic. So good. The stove is better than the last place as well. Um, uh, and additionally, there is a second laundromat in the building, which is fully functional and really good, perfect. Um, so a lot of the initial issues and thoughts um, have been alleviated. Um, I met two people in the building which are like here for a conference, a medical conference surgeons you know i found out that the whole building is essentially nurses doctors surgeons living here because it's attached to a massive hospital and that's what this place basically is which i didn't know that I had no idea that's why the clinic is downstairs as well um but i'm thrilled i have everything i need now <laughs> so that shows you know can't jump to conclusions right can't judge until a full day at least in a place that's what i've now learned so there's the update now the vlog is done make sure you subscribe make sure you drop a thumbs up and i will see you in the next vlog